This video is going to show you how to remove a sash that has a side load constant force balance system in it pertaining more to the guide, the upper guides that stabilize the sash. This particular sash has a two-piece sash guide installed on it on the, on the top of the lock rail which is visible. This is adjustable to stabilize the sash on both sides. I will now remove the sash and show you in detail of the two-piece sash guide. To remove the sash, retract both sash guides on both sides. Raise the sash above the carriers, shift to one side, and swing out the opposite side. Now the sash is removed. As you can see, the, the sash guide is retractable. It's, a, it, it's adjustable. In, in steps to remove the sash guide. Two ways to do it is to press firmly down on the button and retract back. Sometimes it's difficult to do that so what you have to do is get a small blade screwdriver, push down in the center and slide back. What, what's happening here is we're pushing down on this detent to be able to remove the sash guide cover. Once the cover is removed, you can see now the sash guide base, which is fastened to the top of the lock rail with a number six flathead screw. It's important that a flathead screw is used, as if you were to use an oval head or a pan head screw, the procedure I just showed you on removing the sash guide cover becomes almost impossible to do without damaging the sash guide cover, as the head will interfere with the retraction of the sash guide cover. Now simply install the sash guide cover back in place and now once that's done you can reload the sash into the jam above the carriers. Engage one side fully, swing the other side in, lower down over carriers and center. Once the sash is locked you can adjust the guides out on both sides. Here's another variation of a sash guide that you'll see in the field for side load constant force balance system. This is a one piece which is which is rigid rigidly fastened to the lock rail with a screw. Um, to remove the sash first thing you would have to do in this video I'm showing you with a sash already out just for clarification what you would have to do is unscrew the Sash, unscrew the screw first on both sides and then you would have to lift up underneath with a screwdriver or your fingernail and pop this up and out before you're able to remove the sash. Okay. Now showing the detail of this one piece sash guide what you have is a flexible tongue that when you're installing the sash guide into the pocket of the of the uh, of the style here this tongue separates between the top of the lock rail so when you're installing this there's several ways to do it um, you can push it straight down flex this out of the way so it flexes past and what it'll do this tongue portion helps hold the sash guide on there um, then once it's centered in the frame you'll apply you'll drive the uh, screw back through the sash guide to lock it in place. Now we're going to reinstall the sash so you can see exactly how to install the one piece sash guide. Install the sash one side into the into the jam fully, swing the other side in, center the sash over the carriers and lower down. Now once it's installed here what you're going to do is you're going to take your sash guide two ways to do it. You either flex this down and, and push it against like this and let the tongue, if you look at that, it'll install in place. Do the same on the other side. Now without the screws in place here, initially It'll, it'll, it'll guide and work and go up and down, but what it'll do is the, the guide will actually wobble. So what you want to do is reinstall your number six screw uh, colored head to match the, 
window that you're that, that you have here. So we'll reinstall this screw. And do the same on the other side. And now your one piece sash guide is, is in place. Now I'm going to show you another variation of a sash guide for a constant force balance system, side load. This sash cam is not visible on the lock rail, unlike the other two sash guides that we have shown you. This one here is more tamper proof. So what you have to do is there's a, a finger tab on the top of the sash cam. So what I'm doing is I'm reaching down in and with this finger tab is moving the sash cam towards center of the pocket in the style, which I'll explain once the sash is removed. So you want to unlock your sash, lock your carriers in place. Now with slight pressure on the opposite side of the, of the lower end of the sash, you want to apply pressure so when you push the sash cam towards center of the pocket in the style, the sash will now retract fully into the jam. And now you can swing the opposite side out. Now reaching in, you're going to push back. What I did was, was just push back on that to clear the jam. And now we are out of the jam. Now I'll show you detail of, of what we have here. There's different colors depending on different tolerances of the of the of the sash to the frame. Green is a, a, a 530 thousandths high cam. Gray is 490 and the natural color is 450. So depending on what your window manufacturer is using you may have different color sash cam than what is shown in this video. The sash cam is is located with a number 8 screw. It's located in a position that it's flexible to retract inside the step that's in, in the style. So it's, it's mounted high enough that you're able to get, it, get a hold of it with your finger. Um, it's able to retract fully. So now when you install this sash into the frame, just as, as removal, it's important that you install the left side first because what's going to happen is when you install the left side first these cams are not handed so this side the cam is facing the interior the right side the cam is facing the exterior so when you install it into the jam you're going to apply pressure and what's going to happen is you're going to hit at an angle and it's going to naturally force this cam to retract into the center so you'll be able to swing the opposite side into the frame once it's in the frame and centered up these cams pop out and stabilize your sash. So we'll install this under pressure. And swing the other side in through the cam, center over carriers, and lock the sash. The sash is now guided with the sash cams. One other variation you're going to see in the field is if it's a new construction window, we'll remove the sash. Is there may be a filter block and what this does it'll be installed just below the sash cam on both sides to stop dirt and debris from entering the balance chambers. So if you remove the sash it's not important that you replace this you can discard it or if you want to if it's if it has debris in it you can wash it and reinstall.